It was fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was funny. You guys, f- you guys. I, you know what? I'll be honest though. I bailed on that. Yeah. <laughs> It was funny. It was smart. It was intelligent. It was what I do, dude. It's, 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 it's smart all right. It's stuff. all right. That's Sorry, Terry. You were dead. But I wasn't. You were dead. You misunderstood me. I would have thought we'd see Norm Macdonald before Joe Rogan tonight. Did you go to college or anything? Uh, I went for a little bit, yeah. A little bit, but you didn't finish. No. You're a real Kurt No Brains. Yo, Kurt, instead of Kurt Cobain, he said Kurt oh, No Brain. Oh, wow. That That's pretty better. good. <laughs> also, also, I think Kurt Cobain ended up being Kurt No Brain. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, he wasn't doing this whole rigmarole divorce. No, <laughs> it, it was kind of mutual. You and me, are, I like you, you and me, are guys that like to love. You're in love. I'm a lover myself. No, no, no. I, I, I love her, but um. No, you and me are love making guys. I'm sorry that your wife abandoned you. Thank you. I would also, I think you and me should contact her tonight. Red Band, play. <laughs> Red Band, play the Hulk soundtrack. Get Herbie the Love Bug movie, I think on Thursday. It was that. That car loves that woman. It's a fucking car. Swear to God. Yeah, it's a fucking car that loves the woman. And nothing's getting in the way. See, the car loves the woman. Yeah, I gotta address my haters too. Fuck you, Dad. Oh, what's he up? What's he doing? He was complaining about the podcast, dude. Oh, he's like, dude. I, t- I try to turn it on. It's just you and your buddies talking about wiping your asses for ten minutes. It's like, what are you thirty? Grow up. Damn. That sparked a rebellion in the house, though. True, you. you I, succeeded. I came back with some vicious hatred. So I walk downstairs. My sister's getting her hair cut by my other sister. Okay. Classic bowl cut in the kitchen from the Gillis sisters from <laughs> Slamming Sarah and <laughs> Fort McGuire. Just shaving a bowl cut into Fort McGuire. <laughs> she's getting a bowl cut? We all have the same hair. Yeah. I was called to hold her kid while mm-hmm. she was getting the bowl cut. I was in the middle of the orcs where the greenskins were attacking my Draculas. Can you pause? You could, but I was in the middle of a battle. True. And yeah. The computer was running hot when yeah, it's in a battle. Yeah. Phil came in. From working outside and hit me with the fucking I just listened to your podcast. It's you and your friend talking about wiping your ass for twenty minutes. You're not allowed to take mom's car anymore. Damn. So he, he hit me with the you're grounded. <laughs> the last thing I need is more stress. True. And getting true. my mom's C R V taken away from me. True. I needed my mom's C R V. What's your dad say about your video game? He play? doesn't know, dude. He doesn't know. You think I'm gonna let Phil see me playing Dracula? I'm gonna text him. Dude. What would he say if he walked in on you doing the green skins versus the Draculas? <laughs> <laughs> he would be upset, dude, because I'm, I'm la- I put it in my room. I'm laying on my bed playing it. Oh. He would walk in and see me laying on my belly on a computer with feet in the air <laughs> kicking. <laughs> He'd see me, and, I, and I'd have to end it, and I'm facing the wall, so, so he, the door would be behind me. So he'd open it, and I'd have to be like, get out of here, Dad. <laughs> He's like, it's dinner. I'm like, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> he can see your I told balls. you I didn't want any. <laughs> this is a terrible confession. Oh I had God. this is a confession. Oh. Any of my family members that are listening to this, please fast forward 15 seconds, 20, half hour. <laughs> Just stop listening, please. Two nights ago, I, I, I masturbated. No doubt. It was pretty tight. Nothing wrong with that. It was sick. Yeah. I think it was a stepmom and son on a vacation. Turns out there's only one bed. 
and there's a box of tissues next to my bed. You know where this is going. Replenished. Plowed through the tissues again. Oh. <laughs> this is box number two oh. since I've been home. This, this is where I'm at as a man. I'm playing Greenskins versus Draculas, and then I'm sneaking into other rooms oh. to steal oh. steal tissues oh. to put in the empty box, dude. Oh, my God. But Inspiring. secretly Inspiring. Yes, dude. I was like, that's worse. The conspiring part after plowing through the yeah. tissues is worse. Sure. Yeah, that's You can't tough. get caught doing that. Well, if your mom has to start Sherlock Holmesing how much you're jerking off, that becomes oh. kind of... I was hoping this was, like, exactly at midnight. No, no, you can't creep around at night. They hear you. I've been watching Sopranos for, like, eight hours a night, and then I sneak up at night, and they're like... My mom will be like, why are you, why are you awake at three in the morning? Oh, cool. I'm literally going to get somebody at dinner... Uh, no one's gonna say a word until we're sitting down at dinner, and someone's gonna be like, "So, we're not out of tissues again, are we?" Uh, <laughs> so, dude, I know how this goes. I'll get eviscerated, so, and then my mom's gonna be like, "What? Uh, what does that mean? Totally What's the joke?" Listening. Yeah, but if you if you fully embrace it, and you're like, "Dude, it, yeah, it, like, what like, you, it's you all mean, entertainment, dude." Dad, are you fucking gay for listening to oh, listen to your God, son dude. talk about coming? Ew, exactly, are you gay? Exactly, dude. Dude, exactly. <laughs> they try to come at me for the tissues. <laughs> I will, They will unleash hell. <laughs> At least I'm coming. Is anyone in this house fucking coming? I come. <laughs> They're like, Dad. They can't. And run you. upstairs to the dragons or to oh. the Draculas. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm fucking coming, Dad. And run up the steps. <laughs> He's so loud, dude. I'm huge. <laughs> <laughs> run up the steps. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he's sitting on the computer in his fucking underwear. Wasting his time in some chit-chat room. Going back and forth with some other fucking jerk-off. Giggling like a little schoolgirl. Want to fucking smash his fucking face in. It's definitely, Phil, Phil fucking hates me a lot of yeah. times. Like on Mondays, he doesn't really drink. So he gets fucking fired up, dude. He runs around the house. Uh, he gets everything he's done. He's pissed. <sighs> and then, you know, I'm chilling. Yeah. Well, no, I yesterday hit the Peloton. Mm -hmm. Then went and swam. And came back and chilled. So he was like, oh, we were, we were out swimming all day? Having yeah. fun? Yeah. Like, that's, oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that all right? How about the fact that I hate my son? What's up, bro? What's happening? What's going on here, Matt? Chilling, dude. Just fucking, you know. What's all this mumbo jumbo you've gotten yourself <laughs> into, dude? You talking about my sebzy, bro? What is this? It's my sebzy. It's, it's a ceremonial hash pipe from Morocco. <laughs> it's not a big deal, dude. I've we've obviously dude, you seem to be making a big deal out of it. I'm not making a, I'm just setting it out, dude, ceremoniously. It's just it's a nice piece, dude. I always want to show it off, you know. Well, I'll tell you something, man. I don't like it. Some of us prize fast cars, dude. It's just this is my stuff. This is what I ball out. What on. is this? The fucking high spirits, dude. Key of G minor, 432 hertz. Seat on the insignia. Rainbow moonstone with the exact ripple that 432 makes on water or sand. <laughs> I'm fly as hell, dude. You hate it. What is yeah. what is <laughs> the top there? This is this piece is called the fetish. This is what gives it its voice. So if you were to slide this thing back, it would throw off the whole sound. It has to be pre it has to be placed in the proper place. Mm. Billy was talking some mess about my flute. On I heard you Patreon. got yours off Amazon. Not Amazon. It's from High Spirits. It's a reputable dealer. I heard dealer. it was a colonial. Dude, here's the thing. I heard it was a colonist flute. That look, <laughs> I try not to look. I don't I try to engage in wrong speech where I harm other people in their businesses. So oh, yeah, you don't want to put down the man's business. Oh, his business. He'll, no, his, you don't want to put down a colonizer's business. He's thriving. <laughs> yeah. They got they. The whole thing started because well, did they, they run off the real Native Americans that made those? No, not at all, dude. They're probably working tandem with Native artists. But Billy and I was, I was teasing them because I, yeah. I went. We all went to this place in Florida, and like, dude, I want to crush this lady. She has like a little trading post. It's, it's cool. She's a nice lady. I picked up a flute there. Mine was in the mail, so I'm like, oh, let me hear his voice. I wasn't really digging the sound, and that's all I said. Spud got one, and I was kind of like, yeah. He man. picked up a bad flute. It's a decorative piece. It's a beautiful piece, but it's more of a decorative piece. This That's is, what I was trying to tell. Is, this needs to stop. What? That's, I was, this it, is whatever this it, character it, 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 is. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite characters. This is one of my least favorite characters. I did. I want to do a cover. This lady has a dude. What are you, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what are you doing to what? You know you're doing this to me. <laughs> I'm not. Why are you doing this to me, man? I was just saying how good things were. <laughs> things are things are good. <laughs> I 
I'm saying they're trying to say that's a colonizer flute. That's also that's a cover, by the way, by um, I believe. By who? <laughs> that is a. I don't want to steal credit for that tune. That, that was is, a cover. That's a borrowed tune. Yeah, that's a uh, Dancing Moon by Purnell. Purnell's a beautiful artist, dude. <laughs> How are you talking about? I'm doing this to you, and I'm glad you're doing things this on purpose. Great. Things have been great. What are you talking about, dude? You're doing this on purpose. What? Cop trying flute? to sabotage our lives? How? <laughs> Dude, I'm getting into bullshit. <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> dude? It's a beautiful instrument, man. It is. It's it a. Is. It's it's an inlet. It's just a pentatonic minor scale. So Can I every, hold it? Yeah, dude. Please let me. Here, get this bit out. Get this bit out of that, dude. Hold wow. that thing. Wow. Feel the power. You're right. That thing's beautiful, man. It's it's lighter than you'd think. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, that Thanks is nice, a man. beautiful piece here. The leather. It's a, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been genuinely worried about someone smashing this thing. Really? Between you and Brittany, I have two strong contenders for flute breakers. <laughs> Who's going to break it? <laughs> I have, Brittany's going to break it. She kind of likes it. I've, I've, I've actually turned her around. She's, she's dude, trying to trick herself into saying she likes uh, it. She was in the bathtub, and I was playing downstairs. She was like, dude, I was about to fall asleep. It's, it's, you can't. It's 432 hertz, dude. Now that I can carry a tune on it. If you're, in the, if you're taking a bath and you hear that drone in below you, the floor below, you're just kind of like, oh, man. I go on my roof deck at nighttime and just put a blanket and just fucking wail so hard on it. And, dude, it's... This <laughs> can't be... You cannot be doing this. Yeah. So, like, no one can see where it's God. coming... No one can see where it's coming from. So, people are just probably walking their dog and they're like... Let me hear it again. Dude, so you're walking your dog down the street and you hear this in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Just you like the end. end. Oh, you got you got figured out how to do the end. <laughs> Dude, I might start getting up first thing in the morning, hit people with one of these. Sorry, that's not good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have too much spit in this moisture barrier. There we go. <laughs> Early in the morning. But dude, it's nothing personal. This is just a, this is a hobby I'm into, dude. It's nice. I'm not going to have it every single time. I wanted to show it to you. Where does it come from? What what tribes? What are we talking here? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't done my due diligence. Dude, I'm more of a musician. You know what I mean? I just I'm I'm a music guy. So it's oh, like Oh no, dude. What? You a dark chocolate also. <laughs> Dude, I'm more of a musician. What are you doing today? What are you talking about, dude? I'm here on Sunday. This is out of control. Now, what's going on with that you pipe? Got, you got me out like here on a Sunday. You smoke that pipe, Patreon. I'll save that. That's You're gonna save there. drugs for the Patreon? I'll, I'll, I'll probably have to, you know. But I, I'll need total silence, so if you guys would respect. The Why? Space. Well, it's a ceremonial pipe, dude. I can't smoke it amongst chatter. I mean, I'll go outside if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> dude, how the fuck was Jamaica, dude? I haven't seen you in a while. Jamaica was crazy, man. Was well, crazy? Yeah. It, it wasn't really that crazy. I was just I got fucked up at a hotel <laughs> for five days. Who was who else was with you in terms uh, of in terms of like the like the demo at the place you're at? It was a rich people place, so it was all rich adults. I feel like when you go there, it's a lot of like Canadians. Well, yeah, there were Canadians. Yeah, man. When you go on vacation, it's just yeah. you. And it's, you're just in Canada in another country. Yeah, there were Canadians. British are down in Jamaica. A lot. Yeah, I could see that. And it was like a man. I love to sock it like to a, a British tourist. I would love to right punch a fucking stomach, oh, dude. Oh god, dude. People like, keep asking, "Well, when you come to the UK, it's like, bro, you'll know when I come there." Yeah, and it's gonna be a there's fucking gonna be problem. A, there's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. fucking problem when I come to the UK. Yeah. Do you think I'm gonna walk on enemy land, dude? I never forgot. I never forgot. If we if we go and do a UK tour, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a fucking problem, dude. The, the IRA might show up. They they probably will and come back. They will. It's bad. <laughs> no, to say that it's totally fine. <laughs> You're not it's totally fine. I don't know if we're allowed to say. Now I know why when they're like telling Muslims like, "Yo, denounce radical Islam," they're like, "Nah, no, those guys are kind of cool." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to like, "Yo, denounce those dudes." That, denounce that, the that, rock stars of your religion. I'd yes. be like, nah. "Denounce the dudes that risked it all to you fight the an like, empire." Yeah, do you think they're like Italians with the mafia? They're like, "Yeah, one of my uncles in a Taliban, dude." Talk definitely. shit to me. There's definitely got to be like Italians with the mob. Definitely. There's all dudes like in the Taliban. Kandahar province. So like, 
dude. That's, the, that's their New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> the Kandahar province. They're all like, yeah, my uncle knew Bin Laden. He was Bin Laden's driver. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of smuggles funny. Poppy. I I do believe that. I mean, dude, how could you let you that go? You have to be. If yeah, WAPs in America are all like, yeah, I'm connected. Oh, dude, I've every I'm single not, Italian guy I've ever connected. talked to, exception of Gardini. That's because Gardini's a law dog. True, <laughs> true that. You guys have been fucking silencing them. Yeah, I play by the rules, dude. True that, Gardini. You got roughhouse a little bit last night. Roughhouse. No, yeah, you, you got you tossed about. Really. You got you tossed about. You got roughhoused. What happened? Yeah, I did get. I did he he ran into a buzzsaw that was me and Billy <laughs> teaming up to bully one person. Oh, yeah. and it was the guard dog. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail, dude. <laughs> Last true. night I was the nail. They got you. Yeah, they got <laughs> what me. What kind dude, of stuff dude. were they saying? It was just freaking. We don't uh, need to talk. Just about junk. It. Class A psyop, dude. Was it really? Yeah, I fell. <laughs> did it work or were you? It was were a psyop that he fell right into. Yeah. Did yeah. you really? I wasn't prepared. I thought I was amongst friends, dude. He True thought that. he was amongst friends, and he uh, he wanted to show us somebody on. We asked for him to show us somebody on Instagram. Sure, I think you probably know. I'm aware. So he finally was like, "All right, fine," because we we're like, "Dude, what the heck?" First, first mistake. It's not a big deal. Gave into the you, they, they <laughs> did the friendly <laughs> angle on you. Yeah, me, <laughs> oh, dude, no. me and Billy sitting on a bench together, like, "Come on, man!" <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as he gave it, we were both like, "Ah!" Oh, they friendly you. Yeah. Oh, good man. cop, good cop. And yeah, it that does a... It was like, dude, what the fuck's your problem? Yeah, we're dude, friends. We're fucking buds. <laughs> oh no. Uh, but yeah, there's one thing about Jamaica that I didn't like. It was a, it was a very, very nice resort. It was a vi- like sickest place I've been. But they, it's just that thing where it's like a bunch of rich white people. Yeah. Then just black workers and like, yeah, white gloves. Yeah, dude. And like uniforms. Yeah. They get very slavey at those places. Yeah. I'm telling they you. They do. I mean, the place Republic. is designed like a... I've been there. The place is designed like a plantation. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. It's Yeah, they're like, do you want a butler? It's like, no. Stop. No, I feel Stop, bad. Dude. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. They Even the DR, they do it, and they... The DRs get racist on the Haitians. They give the Haitians, like, the shit fucking jobs. <laughs> You have to walk around and watch just like multi levels of fucking. Yeah, you get to watch the Hispanics <laughs> be mean to the Haitians. Yeah. But you better watch out. Every once in a while, those Haitians will get a little well, rowdy. They'll curse you too. Yeah, they'll curse you with a little Dude, voodoo. They were telling us, they were like, that's the one. There was a guy, they fucking hate them openly. So, like, these fucking, like, the guy working there would be like, these fucking Haitians, man, they've been coming over here, blah, 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 blah. And he, they, taking our derbs. Taking our goddamn derbs. <laughs> yeah. And then he basically was like, he said something like, yeah, but you got to be careful because they will hex you. So that's the only reason they respect them is because of voodoo. The, the, the looming axe above their head, which is a voodoo curse. Yeah, I mean, you just got to keep the chickens and, like, bones away from them. If they, you see them collecting chickens and bones, you're like, yo. Dude, we're What cool. the fuck's we're good? We're friends. Yo, I've you, been good to you. <laughs> Don't you dare. Go weed in the shade, all right? Just fucking yeah. give me that chicken and bones. The Haitians. They're terrified. The, the Haitians will rise up. Like, I'm rooting for Haiti as a country to rise up. They've risen up. They've they got it in they them. became a country. I know. They macheted a lot of people yeah man that was a real oversight by the french what to be like there was like you know we're boys right there were like <laughs> 10 white dudes surrounded by a million slaves and they were like let's give them machetes to work the yeah sugar cane fields. true these guys are never gonna yeah they're probably like yeah we're boys right yeah we're all good like i know you can't like do a lot of the stuff you'd like to that do was scary stuff i talked to you about that because the there's a podcast on it revolutions podcast and uh it got scary yeah, dude. Those dudes, when they started rising up, they would all have messiahs, and they would all go into, like, the jungle and do, like, witchcraft with, like, blood and sacrifice and shit, and then they'd go machete everybody. Yikes. Yeah. Scary guys. That's terrifying. And then those peaceful Dominicans were just like, what the heck? What the hell? We're just trying to run an honest resort We're just here. trying to play baseball. <laughs> We're trying to play baseball. <laughs> Sammy Sosa. <laughs> We're just training our 14-year-olds to be baseball stars. Yeah, but... Uh, I've run into this before in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. I went to a place that was like this. Yeah. It was very like just black dudes in like bow ties and gloves. It's not fun. They got to strike. How are you, sir? I'm just like, all right, man. Yeah. You all right? Are you all right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm telling you, man, I don't enjoy that whole setup and it's, it's, uh, it needs to stop. And I realized I was also part of a running theme at this resort, which was a ugly fat husband. <laughs> Like a young, hot woman. And I was like looking around like, look at these pieces of shit. And I was like, oh, fuck. (laughs) Oh, man. What the fuck happened? You're sharp, dude. 
You look sharp as hell. I look like fucking shit, dude. You look sharp as hell. What was <laughs> I'm it? I'm having a rough time. What were the drinks? What were the drinks? You know, a pwn up home. Some light beer? <laughs> no, they, well, they, I did have some red stripe lights. Yes. But then one day I decided. The ROM. Me and my boy, Nikoi. Well, I shouldn't call him that. I apologize. Uh, me and my friend. Yeah. He was. That's your boy. That's your homie. Well, chill. What the hell? Bro, I just came from a slave place. True. You can't call him that. Dude, what do you, I think it, they should just like, everyone who works there should be dressed like the Baja, man. And it's being full that would be much vibe, more fun. full vibe mode. It's like would be who m- that? every time you walk yes. out, you're just like, fuck yeah, dude. They they dude. are in vibe mode. They have to be nice to you. Really? It's definitely part of their job. They all wave to you and say hello. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, that's all. Like that's everywhere all. you're going, like, hello, how are you? Like while they're doing fucking yard work. Yeah. They stop to be like, hey, they hit how's you with it the wagwan or is it kind of like sometimes the chill ones will hit you with like wagwan. Yeah. Nice. That makes me feel cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving thumbs up a lot. That's actually kind of chill. I'm down with that. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> some dude like hacking like a bush. He's like, "How's your stay?" I'm, like, I'm just going to get fucked up in a pool. You're like bro. George W, dude. He's fucking. You're coming <laughs> off the plane. He's fucking. Uh, one day got a little rowdy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and decided to ask the Jamaican guy what he likes, which was Guinness and Red Bull mixed. You so- drink in rum. And Red Bull, dude. Guinness and Red Bull. What the fuck, dude? Red Bull's stronger than Guinness. And I was like blacked out. And I was like, this is actually delicious. I'll have three of these. Threw up. Threw up. <laughs> Threw up he drinks media. Guinness and Red Bull? He, he hexed me. It, true. That was a Jamaican hex. He was like, this is what we all drink. And he was just like, here's two pieces of shit drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I had like three Red Bulls. I was so sick. Three dude. Guinness and Red Bulls? Yeah. That can't be a and thing. And you drink ting and rum, dude. Ting is fucking ting's nice. Ting is good. Dude. That's a grape. Isn't that like the grapefruit juice? Yeah. Rum and ting is nice. Rum and ting is good, but rum is a lot. Yeah. Drinking rum's tough. Yeah, that was my choice. That was my drink of choice. It, in college, we all used to drink. Yeah. Yeah, like Admiral Nelson's. Yeah. Just garbage. But down there, they have like good rum. Mm hmm. But. Ah, dude, Captain Morgan rum's was top of the pier for me. Yeah. I would try Sailor Jerry's and I'd be like, yeah, nothing it's all was bad. as delicious as Captain Morgan. It's just vanilla extract. He got me one day. Nikoi. He got you again. He got me and my lady. Was this your point, man? There was a pool that had a bar in it. That was the one we okay. went to. So you're, your boys, do you hear the wet yes. bar? Yes. Fuck, I love that, I dude. Just, yeah, just that's pissing. worth, that's just worth. Sit there and piss, get sunburned. Just like, I'm uh, telling you what, it's kind of worth all of the horrible historic overtones. Of the place. Is, really so they always like shittily swim up to a stool and pee and drink like a watered down pina colada. It's the best. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. We needed to do all that to get to there, to where someone going to swim. <laughs> we do need to thank our forefathers for all that they did to allow us fat whites to just, like, just be in a pool. <laughs> I'm like, that's enough sun for the day. I'm going back yeah, to my going quarters. Back to my cabana. <laughs> what is this? Sushi? Mm, very nice. I, uh, <laughs> so we were drinking, and he was like, the rum here is very good. You got to try the rum. Yeah. And then he poured five shots of rum. What? He was like, yeah, try this one. Taste this one. Try this one. Taste it. And I was just like, dude. What? Yeah, that was at like t- two in the afternoon. What was good with the spliffs? It was a rough day. That is a rough day. That was a bad day. What was good with the spliffs? I didn't smoke any pot. The weed down there is everyone thinks it's awesome. It's it's from what I've seen, what I've heard of down there, I should say. I've never been. It's been not the best. Really? Yeah, dude. I mean, not the best in terms of people who are spoiled to like. Yeah, I think American weed's probably pretty good. It is. It's all. It's yeah. also pretty. I've been trying to fight against the designer aspect of weed. Dude, I wanted to do a Spencer recently, and they're like, "This stuff's like thirty-seven." Per-. I'm like, "How is this third? This is crazy." Yeah, why would it be? It's too high, dude. Yeah, it's it's being amped up. Everyone it's like those mushrooms. That was some strong it's genetics. Like those hellish mushrooms. Those hellish mushrooms. Did you ever munch any of those? No, dude. Oh yeah, they got lost. <laughs> they got lost in the I sauce. They got lost in the sauce. I ratted you out on one of the, on uh, O'Connor's podcast. Fair enough. It's so funny. I put it. I hit them in a box of crackers. It's a safe place to fly with mushrooms. By the way, you put them in crackers. It's like they look just like them, as far as you know, the eye in the sky, you know. And uh, you know, let's just say we have little four-legged friends that sometimes get into things, dude. That's all I'll say about that. That's all we can say. Although it's an organic substance, so it's like you know, people you need said to the get... four-legged friend was totally fine, bro. The four-legged friends gotten into weed before, and that destabilizes four-legged <laughs> friends. Like I'm talking like because I was like, oh my god. Yeah. He was just pumped. Four-legged friends. <laughs> he was just pumped, and then it, but it, it was too pumped to where it was suspicious. 
to where it was like nine, usually nine o'clock. He's curled up, ready to chill. Yeah. If I walked by him, it was full pounce, laying like kind of like, ah, and I was like, I'm gonna take these guys for a walk, and I t- I took them to a field for like an hour. Yeah. And just let. I them. didn't know both of the four legged friends got just it. one. Yes. Just one. At least I I assume just one. Oh, yep. My other four legged friend. It. My other four legged friend's a little more finicky with what they eat, but this other four legged friend will eat anything, and he got a taste. <laughs> Of some fucking penis envies. <laughs> yeah. And he he ate some mushrooms. <laughs> dude, it was nothing to... I mean, you got to think animals in the wild just munch shit all the time. Yeah. So, and there's also, there's a lot of... I've seen Planet Earth where they, uh, like, lizards and shit will, like, lick stuff that... May, they'll, like, like bears will, yeah, like, yeah. trip out. They do it on purpose. I mean, maybe they don't know what they're doing. But it's not, you know, an altered state. Yeah. I don't know why people are so weird about dogs in altered states. <laughs> I don't know why, like, wives are such jerks about dogs in altered states. <laughs> like, it's an animal, dude. I wish wives would get over the fact that sometimes our four-legged friends our wives still want to see color. Dude, I mean, he was so fuck. Like, I'd walk by him, and he would be laying there and just go, boom, play position. I'm like, dude, yeah, that- chill, man. Chill. And it was like, no chill. Oh, man. So I took him out to the field, and we just ran. We just ran around. It was actually a really fun time. It's awesome. Tired him out. Then I made a little fucking bed for him, and I was like, "Brother, go to bed." Yes. And he just pa- I slept. You it. I had to, bro. You, you guided him. I, I walked downstairs and was just like, "Fuck!" He's like, "What?" And I was like, uh, "Jackson ate my crackers." <laughs> you, you, have, you have become Mr. Marsh from South Park. <laughs> <laughs> you really have. Like, oh, Jackson ate my crackers. Everything's fine. <laughs> Oh fuck! Shit! <laughs> 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 yeah, man, that was uh. I was trying to keep that to under the belt, but the uh, yeah, he, that's he, all right. It's it's nothing. He can't get. In it's an organic it. substance. It's a fun story. It's, it's a, that's totally false. We're making it up. Of course, jokes for the she's pod. She's gonna buy that. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She knows. Do- she's a dot connector, bro. She's gonna be that's like, not hard to connect. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clear what happened here. <laughs> we can get rid of that if you want to avoid that. No, man. Let it play. Yeah. It's good airtime. That's just going to be a fight in like a week. <sighs> Out of nowhere. I'd rather fight about that than whatever I don't know we'll fight about later. So it's yes. like, let me be prepared. Yeah. You, I'll yeah, build up true. some arguments. I'll build up a defense. You know. So, yeah, dude. I feel, uh, I feel good. Yeah, we are. This podcast isn't a good place, bro. <laughs> Besides the fucking bullshit, dude. I forgot about that. You I forgot we got assailed by a cyber criminal. Yeah. A cyber Is that exactly fraud. what happened? It, dude, it has to be, man. Did you send that to our inside man at I, the I, YouTube? I, dude, I fucked up. I sent it, but I think I just sent it to you. Yeah, I think so, too. We have a strong case for copyright fraud. Someone's doing fraudulent claims against us, so we have a <laughs> strong case. I think we got to get a lawyer, though. We don't have to land through that. Yeah, dude. I'll be very scared. hope we don't get sent back in time by a lightning bolt. Oh, that's, that reminds me. I got interviewed by... Uh, this I got a DM from a high school publication, a high school newspaper asking about cancel culture. They Let's DM'd go, me. dude. So I was like, first off, I need you to make sure you include in this publication. I only do interviews with high schools in Maine. That's where they were from. <laughs> and right away, I was like, all right, this, this is a child I'm talking to. Because they were like, why do you do that? Like, oh. they thought I was serious the whole interview. And I was like, because Maine has the most elite high schools, and I only talk to Maine oh, high schools. Oh, my God. And they're like, oh, well, thank you. How has cancel culture <laughs> How has cancel culture affected you? I was like, it made it so I'm not on Saturday Night Live. Oh. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> they kept doing that. <laughs> when are you gonna then, get the, can you get the copy of it? I have the I have I, oh, I don't have the copy fuck, yet. Dude. They can't use it. They don't think they're going to use it? Maybe not. Hold on. I'll read you some of the questions dude, if and I was, answers. You said it was, was this a high school? Yeah. Dude, that's a big deal, man. They reached out. They would, they would put that in the newspaper immediately. That'd be funny, dude, if he twisted your words and just fucking skewered you. Just I said, please include that I only do interviews with high schools in Maine. That's interesting. May I ask why you only do interviews for Maine schools? Because Maine has the best schools. I only do interviews with elite high school publications. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will include that. Has being canceled had a big impact on your life long term? Yes. It has made me not on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yes. Can you elaborate a little more on that? <laughs> uh, this is good. Do you blame cancel culture for that or somebody else? Because I was like, I, well, it's good I'm not on TV or film. I shouldn't be on there right now. Mm. Uh, I said, I take the blame. I said bad words. And if you say bad words, even if you're joking, then complete strangers should be able to decide whether you're a good person who deserves work or if you're a terrible person. And they should decide this by looking at a headline or a tweet for about 10 seconds. <laughs> and it made me realize that maybe I don't deserve health insurance and that the career I've worked for and dreamed about isn't for me. 
because we're adults and there's no place for bad words, even if you're joking. If you could go back in time, would you still say what you said? If I could go back in time, I would probably kill Hitler and then maybe change, <laughs> <laughs> maybe change what I said. <laughs> I hope they really have. And to then run. I just went on. I like totally. I was like, I think it's a good thing that our country is moving past this whole second chance idea. Accountability is important, and everyone should get one chance, unless they put out a sufficient apology tweet. So if you were given a second chance, you wouldn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to ask Twitter first, and if Twitter said I was allowed to work, <laughs> then I would. But if Twitter decided that I hadn't learned my lesson, oh. and I'd, then I would continue to remain jobless. And I think that's good. We should base employment <laughs> off of Twitter opinions. <laughs> so if you were offered, offered a job and Twitter said you couldn't take it, you wouldn't take it. I said, I'm joking. Yes, I would. <laughs> and, then she, and they concluded the interview. <laughs> I'm going to call the high school. I'll give you. We can't give the high schools information, true, 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 true. obviously. Yeah, true. You've already probably but, narrowed it down too yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. But Fuck, that's so funny. The, the, would you go back in time and change your answer? I'd be like, first, if I could go back in time, I'd stop Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. That would be so sick if someone went back in time and just changed like, a thing with their career. You're like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, where were you on 9-11? It's like, I had to fix this one thing I fucked up on. Damn, imagine going back <laughs> to change 9-11 and you found out it really was like the American government. And you're like, what do you think would happen if you changed it? Just Cheney would get American you. Government? Think Cheney would get you? Cheney would get you. Damn, he get You can't escape Cheney. Yeah. All right, here's the crying story. Yeah. This is a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to like this cry. Was this I got to cry. I had a cry this weekend. Did you really? There's one movie I watch, and I'm. this is me being honest with you guys, to the listeners. Shooting from the hip. I'm going to tell you the truth, and I don't want you to throw it in my fucking face and make fun of me for it. Please All right. I cried during Silver Lining Playbook. Okay. All right? That yeah. movie makes me cry. Yeah, it's uh, probably. And I was a little hungover. Mm -hmm. watched it with with the partner and i knew i was gonna cry in front of her oh you're with your, one of your partners i was with a bay with your partner i was with my part please don't, don't <laughs> cry <Sorry>. yourself <laughs> <laughs> sorry no, that's very funny one of your partners i was like, yeah matt have you read sex at dawn <laughs> all right sorry i'm enlightened so you're playing yeah, we were just fucking around. You're playing. But <laughs> first off, spending a weekend with a lady, <sighs> that's why I'm grumpy, dude. I just held in farts for three days. Oh. It's a nightmare. So you held in farts. You Held in farts. My stonks are plummeting. Stonk <laughs> my, all my closest <laughs> friends are accusing me of being a terrible person. <laughs> I'm doing interviews with Maine. <laughs> this has been a bad... Then I just am considering that. And then also, the, the, we did, I did a Sunday show in Kansas City for about eight people. Ooh. This is dark times. Dude. You're coming off a hard one. And then I cried in front of a partner. That's nothing wrong with that. Watching Silver Linings <laughs> Playbook. Yeah, but I cry out of happiness. I don't cry during sad parts in movies. I cry during I sad get parts. overjoyed and I'm like, <laughs> like I start. What was there's the a, what there's was a the dancing part? scene. It's just a sweet oh, scene. Dude, yeah, the yeah. dancing scene at the end when they start dancing to fucking uh, fell in love with a girl by the white stripes mm -hmm. while they're dancing. Oh, yeah. gets me going. No, I, the I dad that. in that, De Niro in that. Oh. Anyway, so, you, so think, was a girl crying, or was she like? No, anytime I've cried, anytime Sorry, I I've cried, the gender of your partner. Please don't assume the gender of my partner. Assume Sorry, the gender was, your of partner my partners. was your partner cry crying? Partner did not cry at all. In fact, looked at me like, "What?" I warned her. I warned my partner. I said, "I'm going to shed tears during this movie." <laughs> I've cried every time I've watched this movie. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, the but, mo movies get movies get me more than stuff does in real life. Well, now that we're talking partners, which I was, I should have saved partners for them, but. It was funny. She texted me because she flew yesterday, mm. and somebody on her plane kept airdropping porn to everybody else on the plane. What? How great is that? So much so that you the can't pilot tell where it's coming from the pilot had to get on the intercom Stop, dude. Stop. <laughs> and say, "If you guys keep doing this, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi." And everyone on the plane was like, "Stop doing it! Whoever is doing it." <laughs> I mean, it was definitely a teenager. What a baller. That's fucking... What a king. That's so... You can't tell what's phone... The only reason I've never done that is I, I could have sworn it says, like, hey... Yeah, from this person. Yeah. I was at the Mall it. of America again. It actually was pretty good this time. Was it really? Yeah. I, I thought it sucked last time. It, seems it was sick. September in a pandemic. Or uh, in the pan so, like, it yeah, was dude. pretty empty, and I was like, this sucks. And then this time it was... It was full. The shots of it looked so cool it as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. I thought when you described it to me, I'm thinking like I, when I think of bad comedy places, I can conjure up some like very hellish scenes. Yeah. So I was 
I was like drumming up some scenes. And I saw the no, no, no. It's, it's, yeah, rules. it's good. Nah, yeah, you're in the pandemic. I, made a I was, mistake. I was like genuinely Yo, went back to the TGI Fridays though. The, the, the TGI Fridays, the Mall of America TGI Fridays. Where you held it down. Held it down. Put this time. I had to defend my honor. Did I you? played Dragula. 12. You actually, you played. This I had time. to. I was like, I have to do it. I have to re- redeem myself. From Dragula. <laughs> for I stole tale. Dragula, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to you on the phone once, and I just broke my heart that I fibbed. It happens. I didn't dude. play Dragula the first time. Someone else did. Yeah, but dude, would he have this represented? Time, would oh, he, have he represented. represented the, the click was strong that night. There was like five of us spread out. That, and that was during the, the middle of the pandemic, September, right? September 20th. When you would tell me about doing those shows at first, I'd be like, that's crazy. I was imagining yeah. everyone just like masked up and like just like four people in a room. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. Most of the places were fine. But Dragula, when it was like me and five dudes spread out in a TGI Fridays on like a Thursday yeah. in Minnesota. Just traveling Everybody at their man, own dude. table just getting... Years this tall, oh, getting fucking fuck. trash. Someone's playing Dragula. So I played it, I'd say, four straight times. You played it four straight I times? I got the, yeah. I played it f- maybe five straight. Were you going up and doing it? Or were you hitting from No, I was in the distance. I was sniping. <laughs> You're sniping from your And phone. then finally, a guy, one of the, like, the fourth, no one noticed. I was like, no one notices. So then what finally, was the, what was the scene? How many people were there? A lot. Oh, it was packed. TGI Fridays is where all the, the industry, all the service industry goes to hang awesome. out afterwards. Really? So all the fine ass bitches are in there. Damn, all the waitresses. All the all the serving girls. People of color waitresses were in there. Really? Fine ass people of color. Damn. Dude. Yes. And they were they were That's you know, it was as party hell, time. You say? Yeah, of course. All these fucking people of color and uh <laughs> doesn't that sound worse it's way it's worse black people there's so many fucking colored people in there there's so many people of colored skin it's like dude what yeah i like to describe people on their skin yeah. immediately uh but the first couple waves of dragula no one noticed the waves are, <laughs> but i overdid it on the touch i played it too many times in a yeah, row you got greedy. so finally uh this guy was sitting with his girlfriend he was like from us to the stoners yeah. and I saw him perk his head up <laughs> when Dragula came on again. And I was like, yo, you like Dragula? And he was like, is that you playing this? <laughs> like, and I was like, no. Who was this dude? Just a random guy on a date. He was like, I, and then he was like, I had a long day at work. I don't like it that much. Damn. <laughs> he heard it like six times. That, were the and original five stuck. Were the original five there? Uh, just the men you? probably. Were you the only surviving member of the No, they were five? probably there. I just couldn't see. They blended in. <laughs> also, it was Eid, Eid Mubarak, my friend, and... Minnesota is packed with Somalis. So TGI Fridays was bumping with Somalis, yes, dude. Muslims, people of color, Muslim people of color. It was a melting pot, dude. It was a melting pot. And Dragula was bringing us together. Yes. And, and little some Dinah. dickhead on and his And some white fuck was oh, like, fuck who's that. playing Dragula? Trying to control everything. Trying to control Everyone's it, vibing to Dragula, Everybody dude. was vibing. I mean, viral videos of probably dudes all, like, dancing to Dragula. Like, dude, this just is hot shit. young women of color dancing to dig through the ditches and burn. <laughs> I was just, I was, it was a fucking vibe. It was so vibey. Dude, the vibe was so and good. And then, uh. Some white fucking asshole, And then some dude. white Fuck! fucking devil was like, who's playing that? And I was like, do you like it? <laughs> and he was like, is that you? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it's definitely you. I was like, well, it's not. What was his date And then. Time? She probably wanted to fuck you. <laughs> While she was covering her head. Yeah, it was a scene. And then uh, I made. I didn't realize I had played it like three more times. How many It was times? loaded up. How many more? So times? after I like fought somebody, I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kept. That intro is so funny to hear. That like weird. <laughs> I forget. I don't even know what noise that is. And then. Uh, How's the intro go? Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. The beginning of Dragula is like. Why did I find no, no, before the guitar. It's like a weird, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Hold on. Let's let's actually just... Let's get the... Uh... Yeah, well, you need to paint a picture here. Think of this. Muslims. Women of color. <laughs> TGI Fridays. <laughs> now think of a dude going like this. <laughs> She's like, God damn it. I just want to enjoy my burger. <laughs> <laughs> so then here's what I was doing. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> this so just gets then, spooky as hell. It's out so of nowhere, spooky. <laughs> and then what you gotta do when you a lot of guys think they're good with the touch tunes, dragon what you gotta do oh. is you gotta get the people going. So you gotta sure. toss in like a remix to ignition. For sure. Or like a I'm real remix. A yeah. lot of remixes. Yeah, definitely. But once you put on a song that everybody loves, yeah. 
they're, they're all like, attention. woo, they all start dancing and yeah. having so fun. You're DJing and the party. then you hit a Dragula. You bring them back in with a fucking Dragula. I'm a counterpuncher on the touch so You're DJing this party. I, yeah, I DJed the TGI Fridays. And then people started to... Oh, you like, might be DJI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> DJI Fridays. DJI Fridays, dude. That's pretty sick name. <laughs> so, yeah, I was DJing it. And we went out with two... Me and my lady went out with two fans after the show. Nice. Two lucky fellows. Yeah, and dude. then they got to witness me and my lady getting a fight. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, you're done talking? We're not talking for the rest of the was night? Was this after Dragula? <laughs> this is, I mean, during Dragula. There was no, <laughs> there was no after. I left with about four Dragulas in the chamber. <laughs> so, yeah, if you listen to this and Dude, you have... The manager have, has to reset it with the key. If there's the, too many Dragulas lined up, the manager has to come has out to of come the back out, yeah. and like undo a, the, the Dragula The waitress key. was upset. Our waitress was upset. <laughs> Why? Because she was like, is that you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, oh, fuck. yeah, it was nice to get a domestic in front of two fans. Oh, and they had a two dudes like, like, "This is a cool night. We get to go out after the show." And then I was just like, "Oh, you when you want to not talk? What happened? <laughs> what are you mad at?" <laughs> yeah, it was good. Oh fuck, good damn, night. dude. Yeah, and then you just call the hotel and they pick you up in a bus. What? It's great. <laughs> I don't know why I was complaining. You might be Dragula, America dude. rules, dude. I was Dragula. You, you just call Dragula. the hotel. You're like, all right, I'm done at TGI Fridays. <laughs> and they bring a shuttle to pick you up. A huge shuttle? Yeah. A huge. Yeah, it's the sickest move. You get blacked out, yeah. leave TGI Fridays in a bus. Fuck. You're like, who was that guy? Damn. Yes. That fucking rules. That's as, yes. that's as good of a weekend as you that can That was have. a victory. How did you guys make amends on the bus? Yeah, we made amends because she started trying to give the guy directions. And I was like, oh boy. ain't that a woman? It was a, it was a person of color How bus driver. Like, he was a male drink. person of color. I don't want to assume. And, but I think he had a fucking dick and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to assume he had a cock, but he, I think he did. <laughs> sure. sure. Yeah. Me and him had a good laugh. Really? Yeah. She, she, I broke down. She came around. I see queen. She was yeah. trying to silent treatment. She was like, hey, don't you go this way? And I was just like, the guy drives a fucking bus. He only. 466 children have been shot so far this year in America. This year? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> bree, bree, bree. <laughs> Whoa, 10,000 suicides. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. You have no idea what's been going on in here. I can tell. I walked in. When I walked in here, I went, Jesus, I got like hit with an overwhelming afterglow. Just imagine what I've been doing in I here. I walked in an absolute sexual aftermath. Just a pig. <laughs> Face in the butt, just <laughs> you're suckling, dude. You're suckling at the trough, dude. <laughs> you have her lay horizontal and just get up in the trough, yeah. dude. <laughs> you I come in. running. I run from there. <laughs> I get in the bathroom and get naked, and she lays down. And goes dinner time, Sweet. and I go. <laughs> <laughs> and I run out. <laughs> dude, you should get into pig play. It is Pride pig Month. Play is nuts. It is Pride Month, dude. Yeah, the, bro, the boys were out yesterday. I saw them. They're here. They're kicking around. Oh, my eyes are watering. Dude, someone fucking smacked you, suck my hat right off my head. Yeah, you got to watch out for those guys. A homeless black man. And I was like, is he thinking? Uh, I don't know if he thought. I don't know if I look straight or gay in my outfit. I have a we look very, fucking weird. I have a very colored bathing suit yeah. on. So I think, he, I think he hate crying me as a gay guy. Yeah. I think he thought I was a gay guy. You and Sean together. That's, I was trying to keep my distance Sean's from Sean. A He's got a fucking Sean's mustache. Sean's got the mustache. You've got a Bender's mustache. <laughs> I'm about to fucking dig Sean out. Yeah. My penis is destroyed. What happened? I got fucking ringworm on it. Ah, it's the worst. It's disgusting. That's the worst. It's on my bird. Did you sun it? No. These are some good winners. Dude. You could pop up on here and sun that thing. Did you at any point have like condom, ringworm, dick sex? No, I don't know what happened. Oh, you just fucking let no, it ride. I don't wear condoms. You let it ride. Oh, oh, oh! You mean when like you were, that? With when it. you, yeah, when you had. Let's your... not talk about what I've been up. I should have brought this up. <laughs> what? That I have ringworm on my penis. <laughs> yeah, all ringworm. You know where it comes from. Girls' dirty vaginas. vaginas. Yeah. Ew, they're Pe disgusting. Petri dish, dude. Ew, absolute petri dish. As a homeless guy, you kind of got to pick it up a little bit. What do you mean? Some gay action. That's... You might have to suck and fuck. Definitely, it's one of the best moves. What, sucking? Yeah. Marines posted a pride picture. Did they? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Gay guys in the Marines? Yeah. I always thought like most of them were gay anyway. Or if you're walking down the street and there's just like 5,000 gay dudes, how do you not go like, oh, this fucking traffic, this fucking yeah. shit sucks. 
So you say, how do you not be homophobic? Because then you start, you think about it. You're like, why? So, yeah. Because you guys fuck? You know, sports team winning. I, I get sports people, team wins important. But it's just like <laughs> sucking and fucking sucking and, and fucking. jizzing. Per, it's like, all right, dude, come it's on, just man. They got bullied and now they're out them. dancing in the street saying, fuck They're dancing in the end zone. Fuck they you. are dancing in the end they're zone right now. They're showboating a little. They are dancing in the end zone right now. Good for them for that, honestly. It's true. It's true. You want to keep them from celebrating, dude? Don't let them score. True. Don't let them in the end zone. True. They scored already. No, I don't care. I just, I get grumpy when I don't have any you sleep. You get coffee. I get coffee. I just get, I like got grumpy. I was like thinking. You got things. homophobic because you didn't get enough <laughs> sleep. Why are they even out here? I was driving and this, this was a thing that actually got me. And I saw a lot of hetero dudes with yeah. girlfriends walking hand in hand down to what I assume is a pride parade going on and just being like, dude, imagine being a het cis male and getting dragged down a gay parade with your girlfriend. I heard it's fun. I, I mean, I think yeah. gay parade's fucking fun, dude. Maybe. Gay dudes go hard. They go. I mean, they go hard they as hell. They have fun. They go hard as hell. <laughs> There's nothing gay about that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying That's it's gay. That's not gay. I'm not saying it's gay. I'm saying they party and have fun. They you part- do gay stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Can I have a fucking other? Yeah. I don't give a fuck, dude. You look good. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Do it the fuck again, dude. You think I give a fuck? True. Smack you my hat off dogged him there. in front of 40 fucking gay dudes, dude. True. The gay dudes were probably like... They probably snickered behind your back, dude. They, or they might have thought I was fucking... <laughs> I should have went full like, what the hell? Yeah, true. Guys, help! Yeah. That would have been tight. That would have been tight. They would have formed up, dude. I mean, dude, I... Formation, dude. I'm Beyonce. not going to lie. I was kind of <laughs> happy walking around knowing I looked straight as hell. I was kind of you in don't. my... You don't think I look straight as hell? <laughs> no. In my bathing suit? <laughs> They're tight. I'm fucking... Straight as hell. My dad's pubes are. I saw him last summer at what? the beach. You yeah, last my dad, I saw him naked. Remember when? At the fucking in Florida. No, I was downstairs. He was staying in that room downstairs. Yeah, he just walked out ass naked. Oh, to, you never told me to that. Go into the bathroom. What's he, he working walked with? Out What's the pubes on? By the front door. What? Ass naked. What? It was crazy. Dude. I think he was trying to get some of the boys. He was with the boys. And unfortunately, it was just me. I think he was trying to get one of you. What kind of bush was he working with? Not crazy. Really? Yeah, he's not that hairy. Ah, uh, true, yeah. I mean... But, I mean, he and I have similar penises. That was something I did Oh, notice. that's pretty tight. Yeah. Similar bodies and <laughs> the way he was walking his dong. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it looks like me a little. Nice. But I was also like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck are <laughs> you doing? told me this. And he was like, what? <laughs> and just walked into the bathroom. Dude, that's so tight. He holds down like that. He held it down like that. Do you I think pride, the pride's in summertime because pride comes before the fall? 